Christmas festivities all the way. I haven't got my Christmas jumper on, but I'm still in the mood. I hope you're all well. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Tony Darrick, and this is the fabulous How to Craft Network Studio. We're back! Woohoo! We're back! Lovely to see you all. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in. If you are not a subscriber to our channel, please click that subscribe button. We've got some awesome deals, awesome news, lots of creativity, lots of inspiration. We've been having a dance and talking about Christmas and we've already been talking about Christmas 2023. Yes, I said it. 2023. I will give you the chance to get 2022s though first. If you want to get all the notifications when we are live, if you click that little bell, that gives you that notification. And if you do enjoy the shows, if you would be so kind to leave a comment underneath after we've gone off air, I always read your comments and I always reply if at all possible. Um, I love to see your feedback and I love just the interaction with you all. So today in studio, I have something special and I have something um, quite cool to tell you about as well, which is amazing. And I know we've got a lot of USA fans on today because I've been watching the chat and you've all been saying from where you're all from, Ohio, Massachusetts. So I will give you all a lovely shout out. Thank you so much when we get to the other side, when we start our demonstrations. So in today's show, it feels, it feels so weird because we've just done a week's worth of interaction on social media, Facebook, haven't we? Just to get everybody involved. Now it feels really weird to be back in studio. Now let the festivities begin. We have a lovely display of some of the fabulous samples from my amazing design team. And the next one I'm going to show you is no exception. So do you remember, do you remember about a week ago, didn't we? We launched um, some washi just exclusive to the How to Craft Network. Now you all know that we give products to TV exclusive. We do exclusive launches here on the How to Craft Network studio, and we try and we try to get that balance. So you, as our lovely followers and viewers, love to get those extra special things that don't go to TV, and vice versa. And I know a lot of you like to buy from both, but it's just a little bit of a touch. But in today's studio, we have something that is absolutely exclusive to TV, and it's another washi. Now, if you bought our washi last week, it is different. So if you want to buy this one, you absolutely can. But this one is absolutely exclusive to TV. Can't get it anywhere and not even on my website either. So there'll not be a notify button either. The only place you will be able to get it is create and craft. So this is our second Christmas launch. I did tell you we have a few, didn't I? So this is the next phase of our washi tape. So this is your traditional Christmas. Now you all love our washi tape. It's the fabulous 10 metre roll with the designs on there that you run through your machine with one die cut pass and all of the elements pop out. Now this one has the most gorgeous penguins on. Absolutely gorgeous. Now I launch these over on Create and Craft tomorrow at 5 p.m. and 8 p.m. Okay, so... Five, four, three, two, one, 12 o'clock in the USA. I know we've got a lot of fans on today. So 12 o'clock, if you are in the USA, maybe you're able to watch it. Now, if, you, when you, if you're not able to watch it live on Create and Craft, if you go to our website, the interaction will be there. We will stream our shows on there for you as well, so you won't get left out. So if you want to go to our website and watch it on the homepage, you can absolutely watch the show and enjoy the experience. Now, if you bought our washi tape from a week or so ago, the Christmas one, and you're thinking, do you know what, I don't need another washi. Still tune in though, because I'm gonna try and give you some inspiration on how to use it a different way. And you'll be able to use the one that you just bought last week or the one you bought last year or vice versa. So you get the two plates in here that go over the whole washi. And I will explain this. And as you can see, we've got some beautiful penguins. We've got red burgundy poinsettias. We've got some birds in there. We've got a lovely baby deer as well. And as always, you're going to get all of the elements to build wreaths, build backgrounds, and just do the lovely, clean and simple cards. And not forgetting our fabulous, fabulous envelopes. So we know it's not a bill because guess what because it's on a sticker form we can create our own amazing stickers so if you want to put your stickers onto your journals onto your brag books we're happy for you to die cut them and pop them in bags and sell them for charity for any way if you want to raise funds for your own creative projects for yourself for charity whatever it may be your local church you can absolutely do that. So just enjoy the process. Or if you want to go house with a friend and die cut lots and share them with your friends, you've got absolutely loads to go at. So that is the first item. Now, there is no codes for these items, okay? They are live tomorrow. You might want to check the website. They might be live now. I haven't had a chance to check before 
Once it's gone, it's absolutely gone. We're going to move on. There's no notify button on this one. We're going to do this one, launch it and move on. So it's a bit of an exclusive one, I would say. Once it's gone, it's gone. So that's the fabulous wash it. So tomorrow, 5 p.m. and 8 p.m. I hope a lot of you can come and say hello. I don't think it's going to be around for long, judging on how the last one lasted like an hour. <laughs> just here by myself so I, I can't imagine how fast it's going to go on tv so let's just move down the counter very quickly now this look at this whole bunch of festivities here now you're all probably thinking i know that i've actually got that probably a lot of you are but what i wanted to do today is we still have a handful of these earlier designs from our previous collections now i don't have any codes all i will say to you is go to the sale page on the website and check out the prices so all the stamps and dies are 10 pound now if you do have those discounts you're going to get it for eight and not for a stamp and a die so we have a lamination one so scroll to the bottom of the page we have a lamination one here your two-part stamp with all of those lovely sentiments and the dies we have the lovely candles with the dies you can see them there we have some plaques with dies two different sets of plaques with dies. Then we have some stamps on there. I've just popped them on the counter just so you can see this one absolutely flew. And what is left is what is left. The stamps are on eight pound. And if you get your savings from accruing those points, you're gonna get it for you. Well, you know the price, you do the maths. Six pounds 20, maybe something like that. And then we've got some sentiments as well. So all you need to do to check out this range um, is go to the sale page on our website, go to SBM shop, um, and go to the sale at the bottom and there's actually quite a lot in there but these ones are near the bottom I will say to you though that if you buy three of what's on the counter any three of what's on the counter the team's going to send you a gift don't ask me what it is they asked if they could they said oh Tony you've got these in here and you've got these in here shall we do a giveaway I was like uh, calm down <laughs> calm down like well if we get people to buy three shall we give them something I'm like right okay let's do that so you'll get something in there it'll probably be a Christmas snowflake a big one or a set of baubles or something like that probably most of you may have them but i do appreciate we have lots and lots of new viewers so if you don't have any christmas sentiments we've got you covered if you don't have any focal points you're absolutely covered at an affordable price as well so shop ahead go to the sale page on our website and have a nose it on there so that's the counter unfortunately i haven't got anything for sale really sorry about that but it's all about the inspiration and i'm here to inspire you because i'm also going to use the products that we use the last two days over at Create and Craft. As you all know, when we sell our products on Create and Craft, the inspiration is pre the shows and it also follows the shows as well. So the inspiration is there throughout. Okay, I want you to get your products home and I want you to be so giddy. I want you to be a giddy keeper to get them out of that packet and enjoy them and make things with them. And then we'll talk about our free workshop in a second. Let's get over. I want to get my coffee and I want to talk to you all. So let's say hello. I'm here, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Well, let's have a look. <sighs> Coffee. Do you know what I've had for my lunch? I didn't have a pot pie and I didn't have two eggs before cricket. I had sausage and mash. It was lovely. Sausage and mash. Let's do a shout out. So on our Stamps by Me Facebook page, we have Marion, Mary, Annette, Laxmere Patel, it's love, you know, I see these names and I think to myself, do you know what, they come back every day, I must be doing something right, and it fills me with joy, Carolyn, how are you sweetheart, I hope you're well darling, um, so thank you so much for coming back, Annette, so let's jump on to YouTube, you get the best interaction on YouTube, I can follow it a little bit better, so if you do want to talk to other fellow crafters as well, you can do it on YouTube, so let's have a look on YouTube, let me know where you're all at, is it sunny, are you a newbie, and what are you having for your lunch or your tea or your supper? Let me have a look. Homemade corned beef pie, Caroline. We love a bit of corned beef. So let's do a shout out. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Karen. Maxine. Amanda. Julie. Um, Gordon's Ramsay's Bread Kitchen. Ooh, that's a bit posh. Anastasia Paggett. Is that a new name? I... Give me a shout out, Anastasia, if that's a new name. That sounds very new to me. I might have missed you before, but welcome to the channel, sweetheart. It's lovely for you to join us. Where are you from in the world? So, uh, hello, Enid. Hi, Charlotte. Susan. Jan, thank you so much. Um, let's have a look. Who's this one? Tan McGuinness. Ooh, very nice. Debbie95. 
I, oh, there's just too many of you on. So are we all good? Are we all really, really good? I hope you are. Audrea Donaldson, that looks like a new name. Thank you so much. USA, Atlanta, Georgia. Good morning. Is it warm, Anastasia? Is it warm? We like to know the weather because it's not always great here in the UK. Julie Ainsworth, Amanda Stockham, lovely. Right, I'm going to get cracked straight on and I will talk to you and I'll continue the shout outs. But there is a few things that we need to just cover off before um, we do close of play today because I've got so much to tell you about, really. Um, nice 25 us. Good morning from Arizona. Wow, what's the weather like? Tell us what the weather's like. Love it, love it. Let's have a quick look at this wash here. And from our USA Facebook pages. Wow, there's so many of you on. Kay, Heidi, love, wow. Let's have a look, Heidi. Hi, everyone. Kay, hello, everyone. Oh, you're all just so good. You're all just so good. Massachusetts, sunny in Massachusetts. Wow. I wish I had a bit of sun. Need, needs a bit of, you know, vitamin C. Right. Let's have a look at this washi. So gorgeous. As you all know, 10 meter roll. Now, you're, this one is different. This is vintage. So, this one, let's just pull it down. Look, is set on like a tea stainy background. It's beautiful. And you get the lovely penguins. You get the lovely wreath. K from Sunny Cotswolds. Wow. You get the lovely sort of um, banner elements on here. Look at this. I adore this. So Kate Gallia is an absolute newbie to the group. Welcome, welcome to the group, Kate. Hello, everyone. She's shouting Pauline Stracker. Angie McChesney, I hope you're well in Greece, darling. I hope you're having a fab time looking after all those lovely cats, darling. And then we have music sheets and embellishments and pine cones. And this time the foliage is more of a blue tone. So they will interact with all of the other washi tapes that we have done. When we are creating, we make sure that it all matches as well. Yeah, cute penguins. Love the vintage look. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So let's just show you how it works. So you also get the complementing die. And it comes in two parts. As always, if you are a collector of our washi tape, then you'll know the process really seamlessly. You'll all be making lovely cards. So you get like two large dies. Um, I, I, I didn't leave them on one because I didn't want to cut out our um, A5 die cutting machine people. OK, so they have been separated and basically it's as simple as they just go around this part here and this bit goes around this part. Look at that. Super easy. Now, if you're wanting just stickers, don't mount this washi tape onto any card. Just cut them through like that on the machine. But I want to make toppers because I want to make something. So let's go ahead and just cut this from the roll with the world's biggest scissors. OK. Angela, never seen this before. Have you not, Angela? It's so cool and the capability to be able to create stickers as well is so, so yummy. So I've just cut that away and I can see. Can you see here? So I know I need, I'm going to cut this in half because I'm not the most confident die cutter and I don't want a die to go on top of a die. So I always trim it, but it is personal preference. You have got the space to tape it down if you have a bigger machine, if you want to. Okay, there we go. So let's show you how this adheres to some cardstock. So I'll just grab some white cardstock, super easy. I'll grab two pieces here. And then it's like a sticky back. So all you do, uh, to Myra, question, question. Hi, Tony, will you be getting more of Christmas dies? Now on the Christmas launch front, they went live yes, last night at midnight and they sold out within minutes, okay? We didn't have lots, if I'm, um, if I'm telling you, we didn't have lots. However, they did sell. However, what I will say to you is the girls are practically finished um, getting through the thousands of orders. Um, as soon as we've got through those and we're absolutely certain everything's clear, I will load on what's left. So make sure you click that notify button as always, as we encourage, and then um, you will be the first to be notified if I load any more, it'll send you an email. Okay, so stand by. I think there is some more. Have a look. 
Hilary Lowe, did I hear right you have an electric die cutting machine? We do. Come in with hopefully everything's going to be sorted and all ready to go for our birthday on Create and Craft. Right, so you, you can see here it's got a sticky back. It's super easy. And the way that I do it, so if you're wanting stickers, just remember you just put the die on top of this and run it straight through the machine. But if you're wanting to create toppers, which is what I'm wanting to do, just peel it back a little bit like so and then just drop it onto the cardstock wherever you want it, it doesn't really matter, and then just pull away the back and push it down. Now you can reposition it a little bit, but I would say once it's down and you've done this, you're not going to be able to do it okay. So just burnish it onto that cardstock like so. So that's one of the toppers, super easy. I love this vintage. I think we're going to have to do this a few more, you know, vintage look. Really, really lovely. And the good thing about this washi tape is it's like transparent, you can see through it. So if you put it on black card, you're going to get a different look. And the brucey bonus is it's, so, it's um, semi-porous, which means you can add a touch of watercolour and it will carry your sparkle pens as well. It holds it really, really well. So that's that one. Let's do the second one. So you just take the edge of the card, give it a flick. It comes away relatively easy. There we go. Oh, Angie says it's hard work at the moment. We've had an influx of abandoned kittens. Oh, well, you're doing an incredible job, Angie. We do follow you, sweetheart. So another piece of white cardstock. And pop this one down. Like so. And then you just pull away the back. And then just give it a little burnish. Look how gorgeous those characters are. A little bit different, hey? So why I bought it, Crafts? <laughs> what a great name. Good morning, it's Tina from Chicago. Thank you so much for allowing us to purchase Christmas early. I got my order and love everything. Ready to see new washi. Well, that's absolutely fabulous and you are very welcome. You see, you've got yours just and all of our UK following are about to get theirs as well. How cool is that? You all get them at the same time. You can all be creative at the same time. Makes me happy. Hey, I tell you what, I'm happy all the time though. It doesn't take much to make me happy. You know, I, so funny because after Christmas show, I got a lot of messages from people saying, I get tired watching you. <laughs> I get tired listening to everything you need to do. I thought, well, if you only knew what's happened today. So yesterday after creating craft, I got straight back. I walked into the office of chaos. All the girls like wanting to make sure everything's running seamlessly. Like Tony, we've got questions. Somebody's ordered this and this and that, and, and we, we don't want to send it. Is this correct? I'm like, it's absolutely correct. Go for it. Get it out the door. Get it out the door. And then no sooner as I've sorted that, um, I'm at gymnastics with my son. So I'm watching my son do a few things um, gymnastic-wise. Then home for tea, bath, bed, stories. And then today's another day, and here I am. <laughs> I have had a wash in between, and I have brushed my teeth. So we're all right. So all we do here, look, is we pop the dye around. And you get a lovely little border, so in case you don't quite get it right, don't worry about it. <clears throat> so I'm just going to tape it in place there and there. And then I'll turn it over onto my mat and we'll cut this one through. I think I'll cut them both together, do you think? We'll put them sideways, then we're not going to take the risk of... Um, make sure that's on my plate. Yeah, that should be fine. Let's just budge it in a little bit. There we go. We'll try it. And then we'll get the second one and do the same with this one. I'll pop some tape on this one. We couldn't miss gymnastics, no way. Oh, we can't miss gymnastics, we can't miss cricket, we can't miss football, we can't miss his craft class, we can't miss anything. So I'm just popping this around like so. Hold this in place. And then I'll tip this one on over as well. And hopefully, no, I'm going to do one at a time. I'm a bit scared. <laughs> and that's come off now. I'm going to do one at a time, ladies and gents, because I'm a bit fearful it'll move. But let's just do this one first. Let's not get carried away. Getting a bit, of, getting a bit ahead of myself there. So let's pop this one down. Let's run this one through first, hey? So where's my plate? Let's do it. I'm always on the go and always have a wonderful smile. Listen, there's not much not to smile about these days, is there? 
It's craft, it makes me happy, I guess. So, oh, lax me is having spicy egg fried noodles so she can watch me. <laughs> Bless. Something about music sheets, I know. I mean, look at, look, oh, it's so gorgeous. Vintage, look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. I love this one. I love them all. I love them all. But do remember, do remember, this is, an, this is our second Christmas washi. So if you've got the first one, you might not need this one, but I know what a lot of you are like. So, and all the inspiration I'll show you on telly tomorrow, you'll be able to use with the other one. So just, just be conscious with your spending as well, because, you know, everything is just so expensive, isn't it? Like me and Tim were talking about things this morning, you know, about like what's essential, what's needed, what's not needed. I think, I think we're going to cancel this because really we don't use it. I think you just sometimes take things for granted, don't you? You just you carry on and carry on. And then when you actually talk about it, it's like, well, actually, we don't use that. So that is just a cost we could absolutely cut. So I'm just going to stick this one down again. Stick a bit more tape on there. Um, Jan Robinson, who is the person rescuing the kittens in Greece? I have rescued many cats and dogs here um, on the Amalfi coast, but never managed to rehome them. So we have five dogs and four cats. Oh my gosh. So um, Jan, the lady's called Angie McChesney. She's on Facebook. She's got a profile picture and she's got pink hair. And her and her lovely husband her, uh, basically left the UK to go over to Greece to sort out the chaos because they used to go on their holly bobs there and it used to really upset them that they were leaving all of the lovely animals like they were so they're now out there full time um doing it as a job so it's angie mcchesney so you might want to have a hook up have a chat oh roxalee i'm back i'm back so let's run this one through joe says this is a favorite she hopes she's going to get it tomorrow. Like, I think Create and Craft may actually um, load it, you know, today, maybe. So keep your eyes peeled for it. Somebody, if you do see it, somebody put a, 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 um, a post in the Eureka fan page, let everybody know. Because, I'm, you know, if you need to shop ahead, I don't want you to miss out. Miss out. So pop out all of your lovely elements. I'll show you them cut in a second. I'll just get them all popped out. If you want to share the video, if you can share it. 268 for a litre of petri here. petrol here. So we spend about £45 a month per week feeding the cats. Well, you're doing a great job, Angie. I'll just get rid of this one. Right, so that's our elements cut. Now, I thought, I've got this idea in my head. Um, whether it works or not, it's another matter. Now, after this show, if you pop a comment underneath the video when I go off air about the show, I'll do a giveaway. I'll give a set of washi tape and dies away. One, not two, not three, because we get carried away. I'll do a giveaway, so pop a comment underneath the video. And then we'll do a nice giveaway for somebody. Somebody's going to get a lovely, some lovely happy mail. Right. Next. So that's the wash here. Let's, so you've seen how it die cuts. Okay. Super, super easy. What I would suggest you do is die cut lots at the same time. Pop them in containers. I have my containers just down here, as you all know, with Enid, the elephant. We've got lots of different washi tapes. And they're back in stock in a couple of weeks, thank goodness, because you've all been after those. And your tabs and things, pop them in containers and you're literally good to go for quick and easy cards. Tony's on TV now, am I? See, I'm that good. I'm in two places at once. I am that good. I never stop. I look a bit better on telly than I do now, though. Don't tell anybody. Right, so I'm going to use Capture the Moment. I never got a chance to demo this one on TV, so I'm going to inspire you. I have a vision, though, but I'm not sure if um, it's going to work. We'll see. We'll see. I do have a vision. So it's this beautiful landscape dye design on here. 
Now, I need some black card as well. So black and white card stock I'm going to need for this technique. So Angela creates, says she can't get much crafting done at the moment because her mother-in-law is over from Kansas, USA. Wow. I feel blown away when you say things like that. I'm just like, oh, there, it's so weird. It's just like you're over there so far away, but you're watching me on TV. Crazy. Right, so let's die cut this one. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the frame and the back panel. And I'm going to do the back panel in black and the frame front in white and you'll see why in a second because these lovely characters if you if you've got any of our characters and the characters from the other washi as well can we see how they fit seamlessly within the frames they look so so gorgeous so let's cut this frame first i'll do this one in white and then we'll do the base one in black and hopefully you're going to get what, what sort of idea I have here. I've never made one before, by the way, so it, you know, it could end up being anything. But we'll try. So, Patricia Stickley, good afternoon, Tony. Good afternoon, Patricia. I hope you're well, sweetheart. Hi, Rio. I hope you're well, darling. Oh, no, she means... Sorry, Shirley, I'm not actually on Create and Craft at the moment. She's saying the wash is on Create and Craft. All right, OK, so there you go. The wash is live now if you are interested in getting it. And if you are a club member, you'll get those discounts. I'm sorry. I'm a day... You know, it's been a long week, um, Shirley. <laughs> oh. So let's just take these off here. Now let's just pop this one out. all of our pieces out and then we have our look how it gorgeous it is I'm just thinking about how I'm going to do this technique or how I'm not going to do it because I don't think I can now maybe I'll see so I need another one of these white ones I think because my die's got decorative elements down the side the technique I had in mind isn't going to work, but you know what? I'm going to try anyway. Don't pull faces, you all. <laughs> oh, you all like messaging me your face, Tony. You should. I'm going to get what I've told you this before. I'm going to get one of them T-shirts that say, "If I don't say it, my face will say it." <laughs> oh, let's just run this one through then. So I'm going to have two of those sort of lovely frames. So you can see on that bag there, they've been cut as stickers and placed on top of that lovely background. So don't think of them just as toppers, they work as stickers as well. Yes, I know it was hard. I wondered if it was you were on TV now. I know. Mind you, I thought when you said it, I was on Craft Extra. You know how to play it extra. But anyway. So let's pop this one out. Oh, I'm so glad to be back. Is everybody glad that we're back here in the How to Craft Network? I certainly am. As you all know, Tim was on business in Europe, so we just decided to celebrate social media on Facebook. The pressure, the pressure, <laughs> getting it right. And on the very, I did so well, and on the very last one, I couldn't get my camera into focus, as you all know. I was like, oh. Failed at the last hurdle. Right, let's have a look where this sort of concept is going in my mind because I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. Let's just... So I've got my front and I've got my back. Right, turn it over, Tony. This is the idea. This is where we're going with it, ladies and gents. Piece of white card. This is where we're going. You're going to quickly see where I'm going. Missed you last week, not easy to watch on Facebook, Denise said. Yeah, it was difficult for some, but to be fair, a lot of people can only watch on Facebook as well. So I suppose we helped out some lovely new viewers as well. But yes, it is lovely to be back in um, studio, it really is. So 
I just look at all sparkle on here. This is from when I sprayed that sparkly spray. So I need something that is the depth of this frame. So let's just see how big this frame is. So it's about three. So let's cut something at three. So it can't be any deeper than that. And then let's cut, oh, one and a half. Two pieces at one and a half, let's see. I have my sort of hinge design here. Just put that away. And then I'm going to need a scoreboard. And I'm going to pop it in here and I'm going to score it at half an inch, one inch. I like that. One and a half, that likes like so. So it's got like um, a rise and a fall, like that. You see that there? Now you could do a wider one if you want to with more rise and falls, but this is where it's going so far. So let's have a look. Debbie, will the price come down on CNC tomorrow for wash it? It's currently 44 It will come down. It will definitely come down. I think it'll come down to less than £40. So it might be worth waiting. Unless, when you put the 44 99 in your basket now, do it as if you're going to check out and see if it knocks it down from the less than 40 down and it takes your club off as well. Just somebody just check that. Because so, I think that's how people have been getting around it, is it actually, when you come to put it in your basket, it does give you the discounted price anyway. I can't promise, but if it doesn't, hold out, hold out, because it's definitely less than £40 as I put it on. Right, this is the idea, this is the vision. Whether it works or not is another matter. You're all laughing at me now, aren't you? Like, where she, what she, I always love Tony's demos because we never know where they're going. So this hinge here, can we see here? It's going to stick onto the back of here. Don't be off put like you can see the hinge through the stars because I'm going to paper piece them back in. I'm going to improvise. Can we see it here? So what I'm going to do though is I'm going to trim some of it off, so it's not as protruding. Like that. And then I'm just going to grab some glue. Anybody know where I'm going with this now? Because I don't. Of course I do. Of course I do. Hi, Victoria, sweetheart. I hope you're well. I have been watching you. You and your lovely partner on social media. I hope you're well, sweetheart. We do miss you. Um, I'm just clearing out my glue here if anybody's wondering what on earth I'm doing. Let's have a look. Club price is 40 something, I believe. I would probably say don't get yourselves in a pickle, maybe just wait. Of course, the price will come down. It's so unpredictable, you see. Sometimes the price comes down early, sometimes it doesn't. And I know a lot of you like to shop ahead, but I know it frustrates as well when you try and get refunds and you just can't get them. So maybe patience is key on this occasion. So what I'm going to do here, I know it's difficult, I know it's difficult. Um, so all I'm going to do here, look, is I'm just going to add some glue to here. Hopefully this is going to work. Yeah, thank goodness. Now don't be off put that you can see this hinge through this frame. Okay, so pop the frame down. Let it grab. Push it down. Just give it a second to grab. Don't be off put by what you can see through the stars because I will paper piece those beautiful stars back in. So far, my plan and my idea is working. So far. It could all rapidly change, as you all know. <laughs> so that's sort of like, if you just look here, can you see we've created that like little hidden hinge just on the um, side here? I'll just push it down. There we go. We see that there? And I'm going to do the same on the other side as well. So just give that a good old push down. And then this one, we're going to stick down this side. I'm going to trim this hinge down as well because it's a little bit thick. You'll be able to work out the measurements maybe 
better for yourself when you get your frames. This would look stunning on the tall frame. But I really did want to use this one today because we never got a chance, did we, on telly? It's so tough getting everything in on telly. And my counter was absolutely packed, as you all know. So let's get some glue on this one. And then pop this behind here. So I've created like a little bit of a hinge system. I'll just hold that up for you. Look, there you go. You see that there at the back? I don't think it matters which way these go. Maybe that should have gone the other way, but it'll still work. You see that now? So we've got like something that stands free. I think you all know where I'm going with this now, don't you? Julie, I love it when a plan comes together. It doesn't always happen, Julie. You've all seen me in here before. Sometimes we really do have to improvise. Right, so then what I'm thinking is if we... Did you all speak too soon? So if we glue this onto the back side of this one, and we see here, get like a little window box. Look at that. Can we see that there? And then when you add your backing card on there, it's going to hide your makings. How cool is that? We haven't finished though. So before we do any gluing, I think what we need to do is we need to build our scene. Now this is where our lovely washi comes in, look. Now, don't forget, if you did buy, like, the poinsettia, the pine cones, you can embellish the corners. You've got all of the lovely foliage, which you can tuck in and things like that. I'm just going to work with the washi because that's what I have. But please dig it all out because all of it will literally work together. So let's have a look. So you can see here, I have the capability to wavy, put a wave in here, like a snowy wave, and that's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to think about what I'm going to put in it first. So look at all these animals. We have a fox, we have a deer. Oops, a daisy. Or you could do a lovely penguin scene. Like happy feet, as my son calls it. You know, like you could do one on the hill in the back and we could do one on the front. I've just dropped a washi piece there. Probably the most important piece. Right, so let's just pop a hill in here. So all I'm going to do to get create that hill, I'm just going to take some cardstock like so and I'm going to just sort of tear it. like so. so we're going to create like a snowy hill here and then i'm going to decide how big it needs to be so i need to cut it there and then we just glue it onto these like little see this hinge here what we've got this sort of recess here before we glue it down we're just going to glue it into there and then one into here and we've got our lovely, lovely snowy hill. You see that there? Quite cool, hey? Looks good, Tony. Thanks, Enid. But what you could do, let, I tell you what, to get dimension in our card, we'll stick this to the front, inside on the front, so it's flat. Let's just show you. On the front, look, inside on the front flat so it's flat flush at the front say that one's flat flush at the front and then we'll do another one which is a different sort of setting i'm just going to cut this down a little bit so it's a bit lower otherwise i'm going to end up with mountains at the top of my frame so let's stick this one in so this is getting glued to the front of our box let's just move this out of the way for now so i'm just going to pop it in Need to take a bit off, a bit too wide. And then let's try this one. So we have one big snowy hill at the front. Don't worry about the glue because I'm going to cover it in sparkly glitter. We'll have sparkly hills. Can we see that there? 
So that's sort of stuck to the front of the frame, to the back side of this frame. And then we'll do another one, like so, because we've got that sort of tear there, haven't we? Let's just cut this away and we'll have this as another hill. But what we'll do is we'll set, put, stick this bit to the second part of our frame, which will give you dimension. It'll be stepped back slightly, if that makes sense. Let's just see how long I need it to be. About there. Oh, just had a text from my son in Berlin. Wow. And then as you can see, if you stick this one now to that frame, you get the, can you see, I know it looks ugly from the side, but if you look at it from the front, it looks really dimensional. Can we see that there? How cool does that look? And guess what? Because it's on that sort of hinge system, it goes flat into an envelope. Well, let's get this onto the card. I'm just popping this onto the hinge look. Out there. A bit higher, maybe. Let's go a little bit higher. And then into here, look. And then look, can we see how we've got the dimension there in the hills? There we go. I bought some 3D snow stuff from Anne Marie. That would be fabulous. Yeah, I saw that, you know, I saw that. Anne Marie's got a new launch actually, um, which is quite creative as well. So check out her new launch. It's on YouTube, I think. It's got some spirally things on it. It looks quite, quite cool, quite impressive. Um, right, so you can see now when you start to build that scene and you do that double back, look at that. It looks so gorgeous, I can't tell you. So we could get some, shall we get some sparkle on here? Now, hopefully I've got some white sparkle. In fact, speaking of Anna Marie, I've got Anna Marie's here. Where's mine? Let me just see if I can find mine. Because I know you all bought mine from TV. Um, so it would be cool if we could use that and show you how gorgeous it is. But if not, Anna Marie's is just as good. Right, let's just use this one. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some white to the hills. Let's get a snowy scene. And I think we're going to do penguins because it's snow. Why not, hey? Like so. Get some sparkle on. We love a bit of sparkle, don't we? So let's capture that snowy scene. Anne Hodgkins, it's called Diorama. Question, question, sale item, I'm not on HTCN at the moment. Teresa, if you go to the sale box, if you go to the top of the website, it says SBM, SBM shop, click it, go down to the sale, and then in there's, there's lots of things in the sale, but if you go to the bottom, the items where if you buy three items from what's on the counter, you'll be sent a lovely gift from our girls on the team. In fact, I will try and pop in the link for you, sweetheart. Just give us a second. Now we have a Christmas scene. It's looking pretty awesome. Now, let's have a think about what we're going to do now. So do you know the um, die? Look at the die. It's so gorgeous. You get these ferns. Can we see these ferns here? I'm going to use them for um, foliage. Because I haven't got my foliage die to hand because I'm taking it back to telly tomorrow. Um, and the stars look. And then we've got the lovely stars from the side. And we've got those baubles. So we could paper piece those stars back in, you know, to hide the hinge. Let me just see. Absolutely. Look at that, paper pieced back in and I've now hidden that hinge. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I mean, it doesn't actually look ugly, if I'm honest. I thought it'd look far worse, but it doesn't. But I'm just showing you, you can um, paper piece it back in. That's that one. And then this one, 
So there we go, look at that. That's totally tidied it up, hasn't it? Brilliant. I love it when a plan comes together. So we've got our lovely dimensional um, panel. So now I need to stick these back hinges onto here, okay? So let's just pop some glue down the sides. I'm hoping that this is going to stand up. But if you imagine with the scored hinges, if you did, I think I only scored it three, didn't I? But if you scored four or five, you would have could create so much dimension. And because it's obviously a hinge system, it'll push flat, which means you can pop it in an envelope. So don't be scared of doing more hinges and creating more hills because you will be able to do that. I'm just going to take it and pop it onto this back side like it. So it, oh, it's going to look so gorgeous. So it sort of like sits flush. I'm, I'm actually thinking I should leave it open. It looks so gorgeous, just open. However, I think it might need a bit of stability, you know, to stand up. Maybe, I'm not sure. Let's have a look. What do we think? Do we think it needs its back? I think it needs its back to make it pop. Do you agree? I think we'll pop it on the back just to try and get that bit of stability. If I pop it on the back, though, is it going to stand up? Yeah. Let's do it. Face says it all, face says it all. But yes, the price drops to 40 49 on CNC when you check out. Is that with postage on Charlotte? I'm not even sure what postage is either, so I can't comment on that. Sorry. It sounds about right. If it's wrong, it's only a pound or two. Um, so it's up to you if you want to wait, it's up to you. It's absolutely fine. And there is a bundle as well. I've put a bundle on there as well with um, a die and some papers as well because I felt like the die would be brilliant for you to house all of your foliage. It's like a paper bag die and uh, you can pop your foliage in there and it's got some lovely textured papers in there as well. So check that out as well. So... And that's got great value on it. So let's just um, get some dimension on our card by pulling it back out. Now I'm thinking I might have to put a back on this. I'm going to put a back on it. It's not quite stable. And I think when we put weight on the front, it's just going to go. So let's just do a back. Have I got time? Oh, I've got plenty. The postage is two nights. Oh, is it still still capped? Still capped. Yep, two ninety nine. Well done, Shirley. I'm just going to cut the back again, and what we'll do is we'll create a card blank, and then we just absolutely know it's not going to fall flat every time somebody tries to stand it up. So I'm just cutting another back in black. And the club and the, the bundle is 72. Caroline, I think that that should I think that might come down, darling. I'm not sure. But that is your washi tape. And so if you're just wanting the washi, that is it as a bundle. But there is also the bundle including the other bits and pieces as well on the schedule. So here we go. Let's just move this out of the way. So a couple of things to tell you about. What day is it tomorrow? Saturday, isn't it? Is it Saturday? Friday? Wednesday? Saturday? It's been a long week. Saturday. So I'm not with you tomorrow. However, Simon is back with you on Monday, as he's back um, on Monday at one o'clock. And then on Tuesday night, I'm in studio three with a show at seven o'clock. I'm not telling you anything else. So the back, I'm just going to make a card, okay? So I'm just going to pop it in here. I'm just going to score at one, uh, one and a half inch, actually. Give me that extra bit of stability. And this is going to make our lovely card blank, okay? See, when you, pop, when you fold the hinge, it creates like a hinge on your card. And then all we do is we stick it to the back, just on the hinge, and we create a card blank does that make sense so all I did was score this one same as the back we'll glue it at the top and then we'll have a card that stands on our mantelpiece. piece okay so let's just pop some glue on here 
just on the top bit above the score line. Yep, and my shows tomorrow are 5 p.m. and 8 p.m. live on Create and Craft. And we have our fabulous workshop, but I'll, I'll not bombard. I'll talk about that on Tuesday night at 7 o'clock. Tony, I'm on, you're on tomorrow. I know. I think, yeah, tomorrow. Or, sorry, 5 and 8. <laughs> I, do, I do have a diary, I promise. <laughs> And on, oh, Caroline's looking forward to live studio three. You need to come. I'm not even telling you. I'm not even telling you if it's a launch or not. Well, you all know it is, but, you know, it's what it is. So look now, we have a card that stands. Yay! Some things do go to plan. Right, let's get our lovely foliage. Now, that foliage, what I told you about, what I've got out the top of the frame is these bits, look. So we could, you could glue these in as if they're coming in, like, you know, like foliage and things like that. So let's just have a look where we're going before I glue anything. And in the washi, we have other foliage as well. Pine cones, where's my pine cones? And don't forget, you can decorate um, all ground, medium and back as well that don't look quite right does it so let's just pop these in for now and we'll build we'll build this is the fun part isn't it the building the, the tarting it up as i like to call it so i'm going to make out like we've got some trees coming in from up the top here or branches or whatever you want to call them we've got a big one here look Make sure we make it look like that's coming in from the side. Coming together quite nice, do we think? What do we think? Well, I might pop a pad under that to make sure it doesn't flop. And then where's our lovely penguins? Come on, you guys, where are you? Happy feet. Is, oh, I told you, didn't I? I bet I've lost a penguin. Let me just bob down, see if I can find my penguin. I knew it. Did I not say the one that I would drop would be the most important? Now I am on my hands and knees looking for this penguin. Did it go in bin? <laughs> <laughs> now you're all laughing at me. Not only do you all laugh at me about a pork pie and send emails, thank you, to tell you about my pot pie. Now I've lost a penguin. <laughs> oh, where's he gone? He's gonna ruin my project. Where's the penguin? I'm gonna have to put a stag in, it's fine. It's fine, don't worry. We're gonna have one penguin in my picture. Oh, I found him, I've got him, I've got him. Tim's on his hands and knees under cameras, bless him. Thank you so much. I've got him. <laughs> Told you, didn't I? Now, this one looks like he's having a little bit of a chill. Chill build. This is the one that's just done a walk, by the way. So he could go there, couldn't he? And then we could have mum in there just on this bit here, as if to say, well, are you coming or not? Are you coming or what? <laughs> or just stood up on the hill. What do I think? They're all so gorgeous, aren't they? Oh my gosh, how are you going to decide? Let's pop her in there. Let's pop. This is brother. This is brother who's just slobbing around. Can't be bothered. I'm not, I'm not playing today. And then his sister's like, well, I thought we were meant to be dancing today. What's up with you? Come on, get with program. Pop her in there like so. These nut baubles, bless her. Do you not think this is looking pretty awesome? I do. And then is there, let's see if there's what else we could tuck into our snowy scene. What else do you think we could get away with? I mean, these are just absolutely stunning. Think about. So we could we'd get away with a bit of blue? 
match the penguin, do we think? I think we could do. Let's pop a bit of blue in. And then we've got some, so you have got some sentiments as well, I believe, if I remember rightly. Just pop him in there. Let's just move it over a bit, though. Um, and we do have, here we go, look. You could really go to town building this up. I'm sorry I'm having so much fun. I'm sorry to keep you all so long. Full of awesomeness, do you think? So cool, isn't it? I'll just pop a bit of foliage behind him there. I do love my washi. I'm obsessed with it, actually. Sorry about me. So look at all them left leftover elements there, straight in the, in the tin. I'm just going to trim this a little bit because my die's not quite, um, well, I've not lined my die quite up, so I'm just going to trim the excess. And I've got happy holidays, and I think I'm just going to pop. Oh, look at that. Shall we pop it up here? Shall we pop it up with the bowl? Like, shall we pop it on a pad, a baby pad, just to give it a little bit of height? <laughs> you could only see right now. That pad just stuck somewhere. Shut the front door, count me in. <laughs> Does Tony have a club also? And the station, we do have a fabulous club as well. So we have a few things. We have our fabulous club, which is £15 for the year, and you get extra discounts off all the products. That's not including the points discounts you get as well. You get extra, extra point, uh, discounts. We have our Create Together Club, which is also amazing. So I would probably say, Anastasia, Go to our Eureka fan page first. Don't go to our website and start buying willy-nilly because it's all a little bit like we've got so much going on and some things might work for you and some things may not. So go to the Eureka fan page and ask our lovely friends what's the best thing to do. And I'm sure our lovely friends who watch every day and are involved in everything will help you out with what it is. If you love stamping, Create Together Club's going to be amazing. If you're going to be a regular buyer, the discount is also going to work for you as well. And because you're in the USA as well, we've done a discount postage for you as well. So if you spend, I think it's $49, you get absolutely free postage. So I encourage you to be able to come to us and buy our products without having to worry about extortionate prices as well. And our website is geolocated as well. It knows exactly where you are in the world and every website is built differently for every different area. So go and ask the question on the Eureka fan page on Facebook. So here we have happy holidays. I'm just going to pop it. I like it underneath that bow, just there. Needs probably some sequins as well. Let's have a look at this then. Let's tidy our station. It worked. My vision worked. It does sometimes work, I promise you. And it stands up too. These, I'm going to use these for tomorrow. Oh, how gorgeous are they? Did I not say to you about these frames on telly? The capabilities and possibilities of these frames are just delicious. I'm so pleased with how that's turned out. I might add some more sparkle to it. It might get jazzed up a little bit more, but I think you get the idea. I might actually cut another penguin and pop a third in there because they always come in threes, don't they? They like to stay together. <laughs> But we'll see how it goes. So I hope you like that and I hope you'll give it a go. So if you've got one frame from Christmas, do the hinge system down the left and down the right and you'll be able to do it. You don't need all four frames, but if you've got all four frames, you can do it with all four frames. It will absolutely work. So cute, Charlotte. So all you need to do is pop a comment underneath this video when I've gone off air, because I'm so delighted to be back and I know you've been waiting for me to be back. Um, and I will give uh, one lucky winner a washi tape and a co coordinating die from today's show and I'll announce the winner on Tuesday at 7 o'clock Studio 3 so just come to the How To Craft Network at 7 o'clock on Tuesday 76543 2 o'clock in the USA and Pacific would be 11 maybe I'm not sure but check it out anyway and I'm live on Creating Craft tomorrow 5 and 8 I'll see you all there guys thank you so much I've enjoyed myself so much today and I've had sausage and mash, which is a gluten bonus. So I'll see you all later. See you later. Bye.